Welcome back, everyone, to the weekly special, special guest appearance, Kenneth Hodek, coming to us from off the road. Episode Ocho now. Finally bringing someone special in, because Carter wasn't special. Sorry, Carter. <laughs> we love you. Well, <laughs> Carter's special is... We were supposed to have you on a couple weeks ago. Very sad you couldn't make it on, because I know it angers you not being here. But. Yeah. But you're here now, and during a really fun time, fun week, or oh, yeah. month. You and we talked about something before the podcast uh, a couple days ago. During this, I'll you know I'll let you explain, give the lead up into it of you and the coronavirus's effect on you. Well, being and I'm your a, position, being I'm a, a long haul truck driver, um, we have seen a a lot of differences going on out there. A lot of things that are uh, the average public doesn't get to see. Because they're not out there uh, if they're quarantining themselves and so forth. Um, the big cities uh, are like ghost towns driving through during uh, rush hour and so forth. Yeah, like 3, a, 3 p.m. in L.A. and you got five yeah, cars. Yeah, it's, it, it's a lot different uh, as far as the driving goes. A lot less traffic on the roads. Um, it makes our jobs a lot easier. Um but at the same time, the, the other difficulties that we end up facing, uh, places not being open, uh, them trying to, I guess, over-quarantine <laughs> yeah. is how, the only way I can really put it. They want to make it the, the, the six-foot distance, but everywhere, everything you do. Yeah. And that just doesn't work out in society all the time. Yeah. I mean, it just doesn't. So, yeah. The thing we brought up is you're part of that lucky group right now that's getting lopped in with the heroes. You're a Caitlyn Jenner. Just know this. Yeah. And for more than one reason. Uh, anywho, you think... Did you or, get rid of I, your dick? What? Did you get rid of his dick? That's... No? Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking reasonable. Back on topic. <laughs> no. Um... People are calling you a hero right now in your profession, like retail workers yeah. and truck drivers, and everyone's like, you're Gandhi, you're so good. What is, you, you have a different opinion on this than most people do. I, I do because I grew up in a generation where... A uh, boomer. No, hero, <laughs> a hero to me is, is an, the American soldier. Um, the hero to me is uh, uh, the firefighter that runs into a burning building to, to, to save a child. Um... What we're doing every day is the same thing we do 365 days a year. Like, you're, you specifically are not... Would you say you're working any harder than you were the past two months, three months, no, four months? No, we're not. I mean, yes and no. We're not... The job hasn't changed with some minor exceptions. Because of the quarantines, there's not a lot of people working at warehouses. You know, people are staying home. So we go to deliver to a warehouse, and you end up sitting for eight hours to get unloaded instead of two hours, yeah. because you got to wait for your turn. And instead of there being thirty people in there unloading trucks, there's ten. Mm -hmm. So I mean, little things like that make the job a little bit harder, but it's uh, it's the same job that we do every day. Because um, we've seen uptick in business for people like retail workers. Their stores are like jam packed all the time now. People yeah. are always in there trying to. They're doing the opposite of quarantining yeah. to prepare for quarantining. Yeah. But your job's a little different because you're like a solo worker in a way. Well, we, you know, it, it is a, a a solo job. You mm -hmm. you you're driving along out there by yourself. You're doing your your job alone. Uh, but it does require other people involved in your line yeah. of work to correspond with. So you do get um, affected by it, but yeah. not to the extent of like a retail worker. Not like they are. It, Is there anyone in this epidemic, pandemic thing that you think should be called a hero? Any profession? The nurses, doctors. Yeah, I like doctors and everything. Um, I mean, because they're having to put themselves directly... <laughs> at the with, most risk. Of yeah, at the most risk. Uh, their supplies are low. Um, everybody that even sneezes because of an allergy runs in there with, oh my God, I got the COVID, I'm going to die. Um, yeah. So the hospitals are filling up with people that are, uh, they're paranoid being, well, well, being cautious. I mean, yeah. it's not a bad thing to yeah. be cautious, but 
you you full well know that there's plenty of people out there who are cautious for the wrong reasons. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they, they're they overly cautious because they're paranoid. Um, they're afraid of, of what's going on. So would you say the delivering, picking up, interacting, like... We do a lot of interacting. Well, I'm saying, would you say that is where you've been most affected in your profession? Is the interaction part? Like, what... Since this has started, where have you been the most affected in your day-to-day life as a, as a truck driver? The most affected is, uh, is shutting down at the end of a day or stopping to get fuel. Just um, because of Having to like, go into places like truck stops when uh, they will not want more than six people in the store at a time. Sorry, there's 150 trucks out in the parking lot. All of us have been driving all day. We like to come in, take our time, get some snack, get something to eat. Use a restroom, do what we got to do. They don't want more than so many people in yeah. there. You can't make your own coffee like you do every morning. Um, you know, is you, all that just shut down now? Oh, it's it's kind of barricaded off so that people and have they to like, have yeah, they have to make you. Yeah. So you know, it's little things like that. Um, you go to get some fast food because most of the restaurants in those truck stops aren't open. So you go to get fast food. Well, they only allow six people in there. Plus, they're understaffed because people are home. So it takes forever to get something. But let me give you the flip side of that. The news media wants to really drive at this being like, oh, my God, the drug drivers, they, they're out there and they can't eat and they can't get anything. and they can't. It's all bullshit. Yeah. And it's all bullshit. Unless you go to one of the two really fucked up states, California or New York, <laughs> yeah. All the rest of the states, pretty much, it's business as usual when it comes to a truck driver. Yeah, to where you're delivering, things are just like, yeah, what they can. I mean, there's little things like, okay, Pennsylvania shut down all their rest areas. Ew. Yeah. That's, yeah, that kind of. Well, then they turned around and reopened them only for truck drivers because they knew, wow, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> we got way too many trucks on the road to, for this. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of states that are overlooking uh, some of the minor violations like Arkansas. Uh, you're not allowed to park anywhere but a truck stop or rest area. Yeah. You can't park on an on and off ramp or, or any side street or anything like that. You're not allowed to do that in that state. Right now, they're just kind of being, okay, whatever. You guys got to do what you got to do. We understand. Yeah. DOT's lightening up on some of their rules, letting us drive longer hours. Yeah. If Trying to make need, it easier, yeah, like, on you guys as a whole. To. They know that we're going to run into some delays and some hassles because of this. And they're being really uh, considerate with yeah. it. Yeah. But back to the original point there of being the hero thing, I don't feel like that. I don't feel like we're heroes. We're just doing the job we did 365 days a year. Yeah. I was a truck driver yesterday. I'll be one tomorrow. I'm going to keep the freight moving because it has to. Because if we shut down, this country's done. Yeah, it shuts down. It's, right? it's, well, it's just done. Two weeks of no truck drivers, our economy would completely crash. Every every shelf in every store everywhere would be empty. There would be no bouncing back yeah. from it. We'd be ripe for takeover. We would literally be ripe for an invasion. We, yeah. It would be that devastating. So it's something we have to do. We we got to keep doing that job. We just know that we have to. Yeah, Jordan, you had some. I was gonna say, they, you think they'd encourage you guys to be staying on those ramps instead of at the truck stops? The other yeah, people. staying away from everybody. You yeah. would think, yeah, but <laughs> go sense. figure. So, yeah. you asked me to not really challenge you, but give you some questions about the trucking profession since it's so in the forefront right now. I mean, it's them, retail, and doctors. They don't shut up about. They're yeah. the three most. What's the, the word we kept using? Um, essential. Essential. Essential, <laughs> essential workers. Essential. We're essential. <laughs> okay, but we're gonna do just a little different. What is on a day-to-day basis the hardest part about being a truck driver, Josh? And then we'll come to you. I just feel like from someone who's not a truck driver. I feel like sitting that long is probably like. Would be the hardest part for me, just... On a day-to-day. So it's like, of every single day, that is specifically... Maybe not over the yeah, long I, term, but like... Like, it gets better the next day, but it happens again kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like... I, I still feel... I, I'm trying to think of other things that would, like, bother me. 
Because I would like to see how it compares. I got a few that, questions here. I'll yo-yo them between yeah. you guys and see where we come out. Just that and, like, not being, like, home. It's the being home part? Time. Yeah. Okay. Father? I would assume. As the truck like, driver? I would. People. Um, I would just kind of answer to his thing there. The driving that many hours a day? Yeah. Not hard at all. I mean, yeah, once you get once used you to get it. Once you get used to it. Yeah, I was but your say, first, it's probably... It zips right When you it. first started, sure, that was probably yeah. one of the hardest. It was. It was yeah. one of the hardest things to do. To do that. Do. As the drivers I used to train, that was one of the hardest things for them to get past. To was. do that for 10 hours every day. And 10, 11 hours, you're sitting behind that, that wheel. I would say, too, like um, the other drivers. The hardest be, part is... Uh, for sure. hardest part of the job is missing out on things. Okay. Um, do you, Would you say that varies, though, between being a family man compared to being a single... Trucker. I mean, because yeah, you've been we, a family man. Yeah, definitely vary quite a bit there. But for me, not being here with my family, not not knowing that things happen when I call home and talk to to my wife and find out that you know, yeah, they were out doing this today and they were out doing that today and this was going on and we were doing that and we went here. And you, it it kind of makes you a little uh, a little sad, makes yeah. you, because you're like, man, I really wish I'd been there. For you just that. feel like the you viewer know? of your it's own. It's not life. the missing birthdays and shit like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <that's> <laughs> not, you know, to hell with your birthday. Your, birthday. your birthday's another day of the year. We just celebrated because Hallmark says we should. <laughs> so I don't. It's so it's the everyday. It's, little it's the everyday thing. just. Stupid the, things. The stupid kinda. things. The the knowing that I'm out there and I missed out on the joke you told. Okay. All right. That's you know? deep. Okay. Yeah. That I that I didn't. I wasn't there while you were cleaning the garage to joke around about yeah. you know and and have fun doing with you or to to go just do simple things shopping bowling whatever yeah. with you guys. I, I don't. <laughs> I, I, Tuesday night. Those are the things that make me sad. Yeah. Is that I missed them. Okay. We'll move down the emotional train here. Earl, this will work perfect for you. Oh, God. What is the most aggravating part of being a trucker outside of other cars in your day to day life? It can't be bad drivers. It can't be douchebag 24 pregnant year olds on their cell phones. It has to be in your life. Whether it's Taco Bell is always fucking close. We know you're not Taco Bell. Don't take that personally. Just using you as an example. You're the real cat. If you would be. So outside of it cannot be traffic. Yeah. Traffic outside cannot of be traffic, an answer. The most aggravating thing about being a truck driver. Yes. Is that, oof. I would think, in my opinion, the most aggravating thing is, say you're put in a time constraint, and you know that it's almost impossible to reach that restraint yeah in the time they want it unless everything lines up perfectly but then still being hounded well this has to be done and then as you're hitting it anything and everything could go wrong yeah say a tire blows out or suddenly there's a 20 car pile up and you're stuck on <laughs> in traffic for two hours not being able to move a single inch yeah just the fact that you might have these time constraints and they're pressuring you to hit that, and you're doing your best, and yet every little thing stops. Okay, kind of like a quicksand kind of. Exactly. Effect. I think like exactly. weather conditions would be a big one. Yeah, I could say that. Like the because like when you say you go the out of control changes kind of thing. Okay, now your answer as the twelve year trucker at, at, or something actually, like that. Sixteen years. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, no. Something. Like I, that. Uh, I would uh, basically just expand on what he said because. We work on a clock that we can get ticketed for. Uh, we You're very strictly having for, to follow. Very it strictly have to follow, and delays and the unexpected um, time constraints. There's days where I wake up and I could drive thirty straight hours. If they would let me, I would drive from California all the way to New York in one. Where day. Where you're just feeling it that because day because I was just feeling it. Yeah. Um. There's days where you really don't even want to drive three hours. But there's those times where I really wish I could get... Ah, if I could just get this load going and I could get it there by tomorrow, 
I could start on another load. I could build the miles. I could have a bigger check. Yeah. The DOT hinders us quite a bit because of the hours. But they do service. it for fair reasons, right? I mean, over well, 10 hours a day is a lot They to do drive. it because a bunch of fucknut idiots decided that <laughs> I'm going to drive when I've had one hour of sleep after doing meth for seven straight days of driving. <laughs> that, Good idea. And they fall asleep at the wheel and they kill some family. The rules were made because of the dumb drivers. Yeah, I mean, the they're a little too constricted. Um, I I believe in in the a couple of the rules. Driving more than eleven hours a day, you really don't need to. You really don't. Yeah, I mean, it's half but a day, if I, mean, I get held up for six hours at a distributor in the middle of those hours, in the middle of that time. I only have a 14-hour clock to, to drive those 11 To work hours. with, yeah. So if I've used six of that at a, at a distributor, I just lost three hours of my drive time possibilities for the day. So now I can only pull out eight hours of driving in, a day, in that day. Yeah. Well, that's money out of my pocket, and it's nothing of my control. That's because the $8 an hour idiot that they hired to load your truck that doesn't give two fucks whether your clock's <laughs> running, is taking his sweet-ass time. Or that business doesn't give a shit about yeah. your clock. And that's it's quite... It happens quite a bit, and it's quite nerving, unnerving. You just... You just yeah. yeah. So... All right. Jordan, this is great for you, because I know what your answer is going to be. <laughs> Out of being a truck driver, what is the best, like, small moments like miracles moment it's the small moment out of every day or every other day that like changes just makes being a trucker fine go ahead are you expecting this to take a really dark route because i'm i just i just really take whatever you <laughs> wanted to i like the way you said that take it dark because i have a feeling i know what you're gonna say <laughs> so if you see some fucking jackass just driving nuts he's cutting people off and then you catch up about 20 minutes later down the road, and he's just fucking totaled in his car. That's the small miracles moment? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Like, he gets what he deserves. But it's got to be like a solo accident, where he loses control of his car. It doesn't like hurt bridge, anybody else. So, but yeah, he's fucked is up. It, like, is it more of a small moment for you? Or is it better if he died in the in the encounter? Well, it depends how big of a dick he was being. <laughs> <laughs> Cuts you off, hits his brakes on his phone in the rain, just yep. T-bones. <laughs> Not going to feel too bad for him. He kind of had... Runs into a barrier and just splits his car in half. It's kind what of getting what he's asking for there. Okay. Not the, the answer I was expecting, but what is yours? Small moments. That it's that one little thing of, like, every day or every other day that, like, Karma makes it bitch. kind of all worthwhile. You know what I mean? It's a tough one. Yeah, because there's a lot of little things. What are you saying? Without the darkness? Yeah. Just karma. Yeah, karma. And seeing karma. people do stupid stuff and then seeing them, like, end up it biting them in the ass. Just, I love that. That, that, that like, makes my day. Um, probably just seeing them pulled over is probably more typical for your... For, for instance, <laughs> a, a guy who cuts across three lanes to, to whip in front of me so they can hit an exit. Yeah. And I have to lock up my brakes on that truck. And all I'm thinking to myself is, my God, I'm going to kill this guy. Um, so you want the karma without and, fatality. And and then as soon as I let off the brakes, see the flashing lights of the cop from behind me. Go, go take him, him down. down the, yeah, yeah. Go take him down. <laughs> Those little moments like that just like... Yeah, you want the, yes, you want the karma. <laughs> For one second. Like those yeah, YouTube one videos and shit, whatnot. Like all the people who... The instant karma videos. I love Yeah, but we're not good people to watch those videos because <laughs> we look for the fatality in yeah. yeah. ones. Well, that again. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see <laughs> death. The bad stuff. We're, we're waiting for him to just... Do 120 into the side of a wall, and oh. instead he just gets pulled over by a cop. I'm oh, actually, I'm really yeah, curious okay. where you thought it was going to answer that. I thought you were going to say, always being able to, like, beat it wherever you want. <laughs> <laughs> I can beat it no. everywhere. <laughs> no, no, no. I do it in the truck stop, and it's encouraged. Although, <laughs> it is great to know that you can masturbate in every state. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't get Alaska and Hawaii, you know? <laughs> You'll find yeah, them. Yeah, you gotta right. fly for those. <laughs> Actually, one of the one of the coolest things about driving is waking up in one state and going to bed five states away. Yeah, it is kind of. It's really just the mind 
blowing portion of that that like like wow man I, I, I woke up in yeah in New Does, Jersey and I went to bed in Indiana do you find time more. zones bothering you at all yeah really is that a- not not sleep wise or anything like that because I'm used you to sleep when you sleep just, yeah I'm used to just rotating my sleep around. but for deliveries do time it's, zones it's fuck the up? delivery stuff you go. It messes your messes with you when you go to deliver things, and you're like, ah, "That's right, I got to figure factor in the fact that I'm going from California to, you know, I'm going from the the, the Pacific all the way over to the east, yeah. and by the time I get there, I've lost three hours." You know, yeah. <laughs> it's like, in 16 years, could you say you can name every major city's time zone? Oh, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much, because I mean, you know, your general like well, I just where know they where cut. The line, I know where the lines run, and for you it. can. Florida's got a little piece that's split, doesn't it? Yeah. What for time zone? I don't think so. No. No. Yeah. Florida doesn't have one. Maybe they do no. like down. Well, there are I states don't... that are like that, right? That are well, split the... time yeah. zones. Like oh yeah. Texas. yeah. Oh yeah. Like oh, Texas well, is. Texas like, is split. Is it like it's, it's only two of them though, right? It's like a yeah. very small sliver. Because it's right? got some in mountain and some in central. Yeah. The west side and mountain. Yeah. Well. Yeah. A lot of states have. Yeah. There's a lot of splits. I mean, Nebraska, the last hundred and. 37 miles. First 137 miles uh, yeah. on the west end of it is a different time zone. Right. Fucking Nebraska. Fucking that state. Now, I love doing this with you. I noticed it over time. I got about two more questions for you. This one's kind of a fun one just to see. Test your trucker knowledge of 16 years. And oh, boy. How much you <laughs> love the great... You just love math, you know? So, we're in Gallery, Iowa right now. About, about a center of U.S. as you can get, right? I mean, mm-hmm. within yeah, reason. Within reason. <clears throat> I'm going to give you some... Kind of. It's going to be like a Quizlet. Think of it like that. I can, okay. Uh, I'm going to give you destinations. I want you to give me, at least within 25 to, f- like, 50 miles, how far it is from this location. I'm kind of... Say 100. Say, say 100, 100, 100 miles? miles? Only that's only so because, nice. depending on the route... <clears throat> that's true. That That's going to show you car routes versus truck routes. That's true. Okay. Let's say um, Gary, Iowa, where we are, to St. Louis. Should we all get a guess on this? Yeah, go right. Why not? To St. Louis, uh, the way I would go, truck route, would be... I feel like we should go first and then have to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you guys go. We'll see if he's closer. You guys guys go first. I'm going like 650. Okay. That's That's way too much. I don't know. We border Missouri, you know. Yeah. That's well, that's just... I'm but St. Louis to, is kind See, of I don't... Like, I'm geographically stupid. I oh, I am so, too. I would say um, 600. Okay. 490. Sorry, I've only been okay. there. I think you're probably close. About okay. 430. Yeah. It shows. Yeah. 429. Jesus. <laughs> I was going to... I said that. <laughs> a that mile long. off. Damn. I said that. That's... It, was like, it took us a... That's... We'll give you one more. A little bit harder here. Okay. <laughs> At least I was within a hundred. Yeah. That makes me happy. <laughs> yeah. Now, good. I'm gonna. You guys will probably not get this. Sorry. It just. We'll see. Um, I cannot think of that town for some reason. Uh, here we are. Perfect. Gary, Iowa to Austin, Texas. Fuck. Oh. I've never been to Texas. I can't get like an estimated um, time. Trying to think. I'm, I'm giving you kind of easy. I'd say this is easier than the other one. I know Oklahoma is about eight hours. Yeah, I'm going. I'm saying about 1950. Okay. Miles. Miles. Okay. I'm going like yeah, no hours. Yeah, 1950 hours. No, No, I think you meant like 19 hours and 15 minutes. No, 950 miles. 900 miles. 900. He's got 1900. I know. I'm I'm basing this on the trip I made in. Like 11 years ago. <laughs> 17. 17? 17. Wow. Father, Maybe you are our... I'm going to go 16. You're the man right now. 16. I'm trying to think where... I 1,185 can't... miles. Josh takes the cake. Wait, you said 1,100? Yeah. 990. Yeah. Really? 
Yeah, I was trying to think. Yeah, think when you're saying 1900, I'm like, it's a good thing. where yeah, do you I think know. Austin? Is? <laughs> okay, well, I was, I was with, I was within, I was within. Uh, well, no, I wasn't. You would have been outside of 100. Yeah. You would have been. No, about, I just, yeah. I was thinking like Houston because I know how far of a drive Houston is, and that's like farther down than Austin. Well, wait I was a second. Say, Austin's a little higher. I want to, I want to think. Southern, right? I want to think that. 990 miles. Yeah. 990 miles from Gary. Yeah, from our exact location. Wow, that's taking some kind of weird route there. Yeah. yeah. Should just take Interstate. Well, yeah, when I said 900, that did seem like a lot. Well, but like when I should. when I run loads out of uh, uh, out of Iowa from down uh, in o- Osceola down to Dallas area, it's like 730 miles. So, it's probably not and I gotta hard. figure Dallas. Down to Austin has got to be two hundred. Yeah, you're right. It's right. Yeah. I, I figured. I figured the extra mileage is there for some reason. Now, none of them should get close to this unless they're lucky. Our location to Pasadena, California, is our last one. Our location to Pasadena, California. Yes. Pasadena. I'm going fourteen hundred. Is that northern, southern, central? That's like, southern California. Southern. I'm pretty sure. Like, I, not, I, I, not I can help you out. out. I, I, I can help you out on location. Oh, you should, you know where Pasadena is? It's about think, Southern yeah, California. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're on the coast. Yeah. Coast-ish. Yeah. It's between LA and San, or San Diego. Uh, I believe so. Yes. Uh, 1600. I'll, I'll help go, you out on this route. Just a little bit. I got this one sure? down already. So. I'm going to go about 2500. The only major city it shows it going through is Las Vegas. 25. Oh, miles. it's got going miles. over the top, which is going to be different because it's going to it's going to show it routed through the seventy, which we would never take to get there. If I tell you the <laughs> states, <laughs> go through the mountains. <laughs> if I so tell you the states, it's it going to be through, it's going to be closer to. I'm going to tell you right now. I've made that run, exact run from here. Okay. So I already know what what that what okay that run is. Josh, you have mileage. I said fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred. Seventeen. Seventeen. I said twenty five. It's probably really high, but <laughs> what do you got? Well, see, from from here to there, the route that I would have to take okay. by truck is seven hundred and forty miles. Seventeen hundred and forty miles. Oh so, god, I was, I was like, gonna <laughs> say seventeen hundred and forty miles. The route it's having you take is about sixteen hundred and thirty. You guys are all Earl's the closest. Yeah, you, you two are very close. Sixteen hundred eighty nine. Man, where I it has eleven it. over. Because the way it's the way I would end up going to get Jordan there from here yeah. is straight down. I'll see my guess. It's straight down the uh, thirty-five through Kansas City, into the fifty across to Hutchinson, Kansas, down the sixty-one through Pratt, Kansas, to the fifty-four, fifty-four, out to the forty, the forty across till. It turns into the fifteen in Barstow and straight down into the two ten over to. Pasadena. Too many numbers. <laughs> but yeah. the way it's going to be rowdy is <laughs> no, for, for us to hit the 80, take the 80 over into Big Springs until it splits into the 76 into Denver. Denver 70 over 15 down through Vegas, Vegas and, yeah. and continue yeah. down through Barcelona. I would have taken the same route. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> same route I take. Um, exact route. We'll give you one more question. See, these are all places I haven't been. Like we, That's why we usually drive a lot. You've been to St. Louis though, right? And yeah. it's hard to go from here. St. Louis is the only one. This is a weird spot. The reason being is because there's 70 different ways to go from here just to get to Des Moines. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, so there's a lot. But that's kind of the challenge in it. But uh, so far, you were literally one mile off. So yeah. you take the the cake, which is you have to finish drinking what you're drinking. No, because I have to mix another one. I don't know how long this show's going. I got Corona. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking? What is that? Even? Is that seven? It's seven seven. Oh. If you're gonna come on here, you have to drink at least some good amount. I want beer three, right. so I should start getting one open. Come on. <laughs> Playing the Cup fucking two. game. I'm proud of you. Yeah, you just fucking took Okay. Out now that brings me to my last question of our trucker segment. We normally don't take this long on something mm-hmm. unless it's bitching about the coronavirus and taking away sports. <laughs> Fuck them. It's good. this is gonna be the simplest question you'd probably been thinking of told like a thousand times. I ain't doing that. If you're going back 16 years <laughs> uh, and telling yourself, you're, you're, yourself right before you went into the trucking career, right before you joined Swift, right before you joined DSW, all of that, what would that be? 
Would it be get? It could be get out. It could be here's this. What would it be? Oh, if I had to like go back before I ever became a trucker and decide whether or not to be one. The one thing you have to tell yourself about the trucking industry, whether it be joining it, getting away from it, or just a tip about it. I'm curious about that answer too, though. <laughs> I think I already know that answer, but it's, it's. I mean, it's a very simple question. Did I not put a lime in this? The fuck kind of goo back am I? You put a lime in it? You're a monster. Uh, no, I think I'm, I think my big thing would be I want yeah. to. <laughs> I would want to have uh, tell myself to get into the owner op business a lot sooner and to handle it in a lot different way. Because I was an owner op for those years, but I went into it thinking that, wow, I'm a rich truck driver. Yeah. And eventually that truck died, and I ended up back with a company instead because I'm, okay. I didn't save the money the way I needed to. I, I used it for bills and things. It's not like I went and went, oh, yeah, I'm rich. I can do whatever I want. Come yeah. On. Now, if you had to give advice to someone thinking of becoming a truck driver, what would that be? <clears throat> a bunch of things. If you're, if you're married, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair no I get it well I get it. Yeah, one true. is I know a ton of truck drivers that are all divorced because they were truck it's drivers it's a strenuous thing to put on a relationship yeah. uh-huh. you're away for three weeks a month at a time gives an awful lot of time for her to go mess around with the mail <laughs> <laughs> and here's here's the problem milk man. if you don't if you don't trust the woman you're with to not mess around on you okay. you're going to be out on the road Thinking she's messing around on you. That's fair. Which means you're gonna ha- you're gonna harbor these feelings like she uh, she's hiding every time she, anything seems off. She, you're gonna think she's hiding it. She's um, if she's the kind that can't be without you for that period of time, she's gonna go look in. Or if she's the kind that's jealous, she'll think that. Now, God forbid, I've I've seen this a lot with truck drivers. I don't know if they think, like, every truck stop has a built-in whorehouse or something. <laughs> but In Canada. When the hell do you even have time to cheat out on the road? Quite frankly, you drive 11 hours a day, you only get 10 hours You say sleep. a lot about lot lizards, though. and They're no, out there. They're in the big cities. I literally rarely ever even see them, because I don't ever stay in the big cities. You're not in I Indiana, though. I park outside... Often. I always park outside the big city. Yeah. And then drive in in the morning or drive out after my load. I don't stay in those because there's not just the 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 lot lizards. Yeah. There's the thieves, the criminals, there there's the drug dealers, there's all the bad elements there. I don't I don't need that. I want to be able to go to bed at night and not worry that when I wake up in the morning, all the lights on my truck are going to be missing. <laughs> Chicago, we're looking know. at you. There's a guy looking is that, at you. Is that yeah. Chicago? Like, See, that's a different thing than regular cars. Your tires are missing in your car. Or, the, that, the or that somebody busted into your trailer and stole some of your... That, yeah, that too. Because the... the those, are, those locks the, are a little the, hard to break, The though. crap you have to go through for that. Are you kidding me? Most guys have a, a basic padlock, just like well, most I do. people. But like, and you can go up to those with a with just those bolt cutters. cutters. Yeah. yeah. Well, don't even need that. They have the ones now that are like the battery pack, and it's like a pair of scissors that cuts through that shit. It goes and just chops right through it. I need I th- to get I think, a new profession. Yeah, <laughs> I think there's, a, I there's, mean, no. there's an easy solution to this. Just start putting turrets on the top of trailers. Yeah. That's what I century guns. That's what <laughs> I said. It's set up the claymores right there. Just. <laughs> But it's <laughs> so I don't I don't go dealing with that. But at the same time, like I'm saying, there's so many women that think that their man is out there on the road, and they've got. That's why I have the joke with mom about uh, having a second family, family in, in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. She's not even the one who started that. I think Keaton is the one who started it. I was gonna say I remember somebody who talked about it. Or it's either Keaton yeah. or Michael who said about it. my family in Oklahoma or my yeah. stepbrothers in Oklahoma. I should say. So it's it's a uh, it's just a joke because it we know that that it does go on. There are those drivers that are out there and they park in places like West Memphis. That uh, <laughs> I love that West uh, Memphis. Memphis. <laughs> it's not even specific. Memphis. Call West, West Memphis is where all the truck stops are down there, and and 
They literally are selling drugs on the radio. <laughs> literally, oh, that's the CB. Who needs coke? Who needs weed? I got the good white. I got the good green. Come see me. <laughs> oh, boy. It's just it's ridiculous. But the hookers just... They're like rats just scurrying under trailers and shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, what the fuck? What the fuck? So, yeah. I... I Back to what the original question was about it was, um, I would, you know, I guess I would, uh, I would tell people not to, uh, not to get into it if you're married into anybody that's going to be a jealous type or so forth. And, uh, if you're going to, don't go to work for like Swift, Warner, like, uh, can Sierra, like England, Prime, kind of thing? uh, <laughs> <laughs> and all the big name ones. Check, 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 check. Don't go to work for any of the big companies. You are a number. They don't give a shit about you. <laughs> Take my word for it. Please pay the money up front. Go get a loan. Borrow it. Kill a neighbor and steal it. Whatever you have to do. <laughs> go to a actual truck driving academy and get your... Don't go for that freebie thing at, at the uh, Swift Academy or what have you. You get trained shitty. And then you end up working for them as their slave for the next nine months to a year because there's a contract. And that's the only way that that schooling's free is that you have to stay with them for nine months. You want to know how many times you're getting home in that nine months? Three? No. And when nine months is up. <laughs> that's the way Sarah England does it. And they partner up two new guys together to train each other. Oh. God. How are you going to train somebody if you don't know how... <laughs> exactly. Like, you know, uh, exactly. Oh, I know oh, half the rules, you know the other half. We'll make a great team. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. I'll take care of this mountain road. Go sleep in the back. <laughs> <laughs> sure. We're Jump coming, right on that shit. We're coming down to a 13% grade. I don't know this. You do. Your turn to take the wheel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So theoretically, if you think you got partnered with somebody, you could just rotate shifts and drive all the way through. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, do you think that would speed things up if you only had half the amount of Team driving yet? is you drive for 10 hours while I sleep. Yeah. Switch seats. You go to the bunk, I go to the seat. Coast to coast nice. in a day and a half. What company should start doing that? Hell no! No, <laughs> I can't sleep in the. No. I can't sleep while that truck's moving. No, is it, is it just I, loud, or is it you just can't sleep when you're moving? Or no, America's roads suck ass, yeah. dude. It's like it's like trying to sleep going down gravel roads. I mean, it's, just, it's relaxing. All over you, just, you didn't grow. Well, yeah, I'm all relaxed. <laughs> Hits a pothole and you go flying five feet. I don't know how the I don't know how the teams do it, man. I can't I, I can't sleep in those. There's yeah. no way. I find like if I'm able to fall asleep in a car, it's really relaxing, but it's really hard for yeah. for me to fall asleep. Way different in a truck. Yeah. Every bump is a. You got the suspension yeah. and like yeah, yeah. yeah I, just I, going I around. Imagine. Well, the suspension imagine. floats. You got everything's airbag. Airbags under the cab. Airbags under the axles. So every time you hit a bump, everything's just like a yeah, like a giant water. You get like motion sick, probably. <laughs> just it's hard, and then every time somebody hits the brake, you want to roll out of the bed, and it's, no, you're gonna get bed bed seat belts. Bed seat belts just strap yeah. you down. It's like the uh, the psych wards just strap you in, and yeah, <laughs> good to go. Padlock yep. your ass down. <laughs> so before we finish up that topic, we'll end it. Is there anything you would like to tell the general population of minimal viewers? Uh, that, <laughs> uh, that you would like to tell the heart. <laughs> what would it be about your profession, about the recent coronavirus stuff, about you being a hero and essential? What would it be? You know, one thing to say. Don't be a hero. <laughs> Don't be a hero. <laughs> Just carry on with your everyday Looking at you. Um, GoPro. When this whole virus thing scare is over and all, I wish that all of you that were quarantining yourselves would just keep fucking doing that. <laughs> just stay the fuck home. I would rather you not be out. 
The roads are much nicer and safer without you. The world continues to move on. Just stay home. Just don't. <laughs> That's fair. Just don't ever come out. Just. Fuck them. <laughs> you bought all that toilet paper. I don't think you should be allowed to leave home until you've used it. <laughs> yeah. No. We're hey, not a grocery store. Have you seen that? Way. There was somebody who actually like did the math on it. Like you know, average. Oh yeah. Rolls used per person yeah. per time they go. You'd have to wipe your ass like seven thousand no, times a day. You'd have to. You'd actually have to go take a shit about a hundred and eighty-two times a day. To blow through that in the amount of average bought. for Jordan. Come on, get out of here. Yeah, Jordan's <laughs> fucking blowing up. Fucking, he probably uses he probably, a little bit of He doesn't even wipe. <laughs> I take like 12 shits a day, guys. Don't worry. God, man. So, we're going to pretty much name this the Kenneth Hodick biopic because we haven't had you oh. on since we started. So, I'd like awesome. to. I'm going to probe <laughs> a little deeper in there. Just Oh, for <laughs> other things? Or? Yeah, definitely. All right. That's just trick <laughs> You're not gonna no. keep. You're not gonna keep your audience that the ten people that watch this normally. <laughs> I'm not gonna stick around if all we're gonna do is talk trucking. Especially since we're five of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, you've told us over the years. Me and Earl have grown up hearing immensely fun stories of the. God, you were a pretty fucking big retard in your past, but I'm just kidding. No, as a, I've done some dumb shit. Yeah, no, a lot funner than most of us will ever probably conjure up in our lifetime. Um, there's one memorable moment. It could be anything. Let's have some fun with it. That came from your childhood under 13, preteen. Under 13. Before being a teen, that's hard to remember for a 51 year old. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Under 13. Wait a sec. 13, including 13? Including 13. He knows 13. something 13. He knows something He's 13. got some yeah. right there. Mind you, that's 1982. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At age 13, that fat chick from the park that I had my, I lost my virginity to. Wait, what? She was 18. Okay, oh, I don't know this story. Man. Please, wow. can we continue? I hope that she manages to stumble across all of this. And she actually ends up <laughs> if you do this, I miss no, you. So you're hilarious. telling us you lost your virginity at 13? Yes. To an 18 year old? Yeah. He's a player. I started dude. smoking at 13, too. Nice. So. Oh, knuckles, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Play, play, play. Nice. 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 Now, now, I only lost my virginity nice. in the essence of I put my thingy <laughs> in her thingy, and then you can't get away. I, I put my I put my moist in her warm. <laughs> I made you, thick in her. Did warm. you drop? I made thick. thick in, did you drop thick in her warm? I made thick in her warm. <laughs> oh. And that was all there is to it. Because <laughs> it didn't go very long. <laughs> I was assuming. kind of, I was kind of freaked out. I, yeah, I bet you had no clue what the fuck was going oh, on. Oh no. god! Yeah. It was like she, she was guiding the whole experience, and and uh, it She's all like, three and a half minutes worth. This sounds like the <laughs> origins <laughs> of like stepmom hey, that's, that's porn. That's like it goes here, little like buddy. Like that's where we're thirteen. It's like when your when your peak really starts. Yeah, to she hit. was a, she was she was a weird one. Anyways, I feel like that was my under thirteen. If you, I, mean, I feel like as a thirteen year old now, you'd have a. Like, you do better than he did in his 13. Mind you, same week I started smoking. He was a Any man. Don't smoke. You'll have <laughs> sex <laughs> super early and be really cool. No, no. Don't smoke. No. Don't hey, have yeah, sex and you'll start smoking. This <laughs> 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 smoking came afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the trailers need. Is the, the whole yeah. stop smoking, stop chewing, stop vaping. But right at the top should be... Stay abstinent. Do you smoke after sex? I don't know. I Virginity rocks. <laughs> What's your best high school moment that always comes to the top of your memory? Because there's, oh. there's one that just popped in right now. Best best high school moment. Now, to be fair, tell the people fair, you did not spend all four high school years at the same school. I think I think my best high school moment was the s- second time I lost my virginity. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. The, it was the second time I had sex. Probably yeah. <laughs> I'm noticing a trend. 13 to 17. <laughs> what a dry spell. Uh, no, uh when I was uh when I was in high school, best memories uh 
Wow. Where did you spend all your high school years? Because all four were now well, in the same school. I spent uh, I spent my very first year of high school in at Mesa Verde High School in Sacramento. Sacramento. Um, my sophomore year, just when it started, I just quit and went homeschooling until we moved to Tucson, and then I spent the rest of my high school years in Marana. Okay. So, um. The most memorable thing from my high school years, or the, the most, we'll do two. Give me the most memorable, and then we'll do like the most, most funny. memorable thing. And I, I have to say this with all sincerity because it's something that I thought about a lot lately that it hit me. Um, was the uh, car accident? We did talk in. about that because we were able to find the news article last yeah. time you were here two times ago. Um, it was like. Uh, 17 cars involved. Um, uh, a girl that I knew fairly well, she was a, one of my friend's girlfriends, uh, Amanda, had died in the accident. Yeah. Um, big thing became of it. We big turned out uh, bumper stickers that uh, we made for it. We had a bench put in. And the reason why this like really crossed my mind lately, um, I was listening to uh, Spotify the other day and... Uh, the song Amanda played. Yeah, you you told me every yeah, time from yeah. um, and that faggot, Boston. It was from Boston, the group Boston. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, I was saying Mandy from no, uh, no, that Mandy. faggot. No. I love his music, but he's a faggot. You remind <laughs> me. Oh no, boy. No, sorry. Yeah. Um, who, wait, who is that though? Barry Manilow. Barry Man. I love that man. He's <laughs> <laughs> gay as shit, but he's. I love that man. I love saying, Barry Manilow. When, when you talk about faggot singers, I think of the guy that sings "Sweet Caroline." But Neil what Diamond? Neil Diamond? Yeah. You don't like no Neil way. Diamond. No, Neil dad. Diamond clears no, pussy. I, like you know, no. like let's, let's Sweet with my dad. Caroline. Dun dun dun. No, he's I, a big pump <laughs> joke. <laughs> yeah, he just he, he he sits in it for the whole first like thirty seconds. He's like, well, don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> We just gotta get the thrust. <laughs> no, I've, I've got nothing against him, but it just reminds me of my dad. He hates him because <laughs> fucking Iowa State plays it all the time. Uh, he literally hates it because of a sports team. I guess. I mean, who who? You've never the, seen the movie The Jazz Singer? No. Oh my god! Isn't it the Red Sox? How many movies that? have I seen? What? Uh, the Sweet Caroline thing. It's Red Sox, right? I don't know. I don't know who you mean. It's one of the M- MLB teams. They're the ones Probably. who started that shit of playing it. During halftime, or no, during the eighth inning or something. Yeah. Since we're past that, yes. um, what's your funniest memorable moment of high school? Funniest memorable. Oh, this God. puts it in 1985 uh, to if, nine. If Alan Munyon, no, that's not right. Uh, Alan Munyon is a dear friend of mine, and we've been friends ever since high school. Uh, and uh, speak up into the mic a little bit. He's a he's a, a dear friend of mine, Alan Munyon. And one of the most memorable and funny moments in my life the, the, that always comes back to me. This is going to be embarrassing, so sorry, Al. We went, uh, we went hiking. Oh, God. There's a rock. <laughs> oh, oh, God. We went hiking, and uh, you park right at the edge of the road, and we just started hiking straight up the mountain, and you go right up to the top of this one peak. And uh, we'd go up there and smoke a joint. Look out over the city yeah. because you can see the city from that side, and you can see out into the Saguaro National Monument from the top there. And we were on our way back down, and we're—I uh, don't know, maybe a, a hundred feet up from the road, <coughs> maybe. Yeah. But the road's curving right down, facing right where we're coming down, and Alan slipped and fell. Um, right on a teddy bear cactus. Oh, I've heard this before. And it stuck him right in his ass and his balls. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody else kept hiking down, and I'm, I'm helping him. So he's bent over, and I, I used the comb to knock it off of the back of his pants. But uh, then he drops his pants, he's, he's like, Man, I gotta ask you a favor. <laughs> <laughs> Those regrets. He's like, I got so many, 
It's, it hurts, man. Come on, kid. You help me. I was like, dude, he's my best friend. Of course I'm going to help him out. But the funny part is, is that he's he's bent over with his shorts around his ankles. With me knelt down behind him. With my hand on his leg. <laughs> on his thigh. <laughs> pulling <laughs> staring pulling straight needles into that out line. of his balls. <laughs> <laughs> and his ass. And everybody going down the road is honking. Because <laughs> they can all just see some guy peeking up somebody's poop shoe. <laughs> just pulling pricks out of dicks. <laughs> pricks out of dicks. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, one of the funniest things that ever happened to me in high school. Um, then you guys fucked afterwards, right? But there was so many funny things that happened to us in high school. I... I um, I had a great group of friends like you do that we just got into the stupid just, shit. The, the dumbest stuff. We did just some of the dumbest shit. Worth it though. Yeah. Hundred percent. We always uh always had fun. Things were so much different then than they are for you guys. Yeah. We had uh we had desert parties. <laughs> Such a and weird concept to me. You would drive to the middle of nowhere in the Sweet. desert. And we had set locations, uh, about six or seven of them we'd switch out through. But you'd be talking about literally 90% of the people that went to, to that high school are there at this were, party. would be at that party on a weekend. I mean, there'd be a couple, two, three hundred people out there just burning pallets and drinking booze. I mean, it was just a... It was different. It was you know, a different way of doing things. I mean, that stuff I'm can't go on anymore. Wet. Not, not since too. the invention of MAD. Of what? <laughs> Mothers Against Drunk Drivers. Oh, those f- yeah. fuckers. Ruin Fuck. all the fun. I just gotta ruin your fun. <laughs> right? <laughs> First time I ever drove, I was drunk. <laughs> People don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> I didn't have a license so yet. I'm still alive. Correlation? Can't say the same for those Chinese people that walked in front of my car. <laughs> for what I remember, I just drove screaming speed bumps. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, Father. One de- one body part you can detach at any moment. What would it be? Don't say penis. That's too easy. No. I'm thinking nose. I'd my... freak people out with the get your nose trick. No. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> my arm. Like, fucking can it, be, can it be interchangeable, like my right arm or my left it arm? Be just one. It down, or it's just one? So it could be either your... I know what you're thinking here. That's to be my left arm. I, I bet. I know why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why? <laughs> no, <laughs> no it'd be, man. It'd be, it'd be stretching to get things right. All, all, so that, into the right all I think of is that Toy Story scene so where that fucking you can buzz spoon. breaks out <laughs> What? So that you can spoon with a woman. That's You never know where to put that fucking arm. When that's you're right. actually... You know, one, it goes room. over them. I, the see, I would have to say right arm. If you put it under them, it falls asleep. You sleep you on your right side. Your head, it hits the head. You I sure, do. You fall. start getting this no, kid. No, 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 if you just no. knock it off, you could be no, just okay. spoon with Listen, it perfectly. I sleep on my left side, but when I'm cuddling, I'm on my right side because that's where she is. So, I do sleep on my left. But on my right side, I'd want to detach my right arm. Wouldn't that make then. sense of if it was something you had to be able that to remove? Re- that is yeah. really true. That's like a metaphor for a whole that, relationship. Like... <laughs> so, what position does it take for you to be able to like pass out? What do you mean? Like, what's the most common way you're laying down when you fall asleep? Left side, body pillow between the legs. Right leg a little over the left, left leg. leg. Left leg cuddling around the pillow. Are you ordering a or, coffee? He's or definitely. Or? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Is that's serious? exactly the same as me. Yeah. Like left heavy. arm just under your pillow, under your head. Right arm cuddling the pillow, the body pillow. Your yeah. yeah. It's the most comfortable thing in the that's planet. What I said, I gotta have my. So if I get rid of the left arm, I wouldn't have to have it under my pillow or nah, just under throw, her. Or, well, you you know, just, just throw it away. Just detach it and hang it on the hook next to the bed. <laughs> I lay the meat hook there. <laughs> Bring out the meat hooks. <laughs> oh god! I lay flat on my stomach. Oh god! And whichever way my head is tilted, if I'm like laying down this way, it's my left arm. If I'm laying down the other way, it's the other arm. And that's Dude, you're it. a fucking freak. Okay. He's trying to get in his sleep. All right. You sleep on your stomach. Yeah. All right. You are the only person I know who sleeps on his stomach. Dude, it's like the only way I can sleep. I'll it's wake creepy. up. Hey, I'll hey, wake hey. up in a completely different position. That is weird. 
But yeah, I I have to fall asleep on my stomach. Do you? Really? Yeah, it's weird. I was See, just gonna say, do you guys find it weird to like sweet sleep naked and stuff? Like I don't. I sleep, sleep naked, naked every single okay. night. Good. Yeah. I I just like people freak out about that when you like tell them. I don't, that you, it's a little like, different for me. I figured I, 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 like I sleep I naked. Shit. But I'm in a truck in a parking lot That's full true. of men. No, I, <laughs> <laughs> I think you're reading too deep. <laughs> well, well, it's not that. My my bed could accidentally roll. And, <laughs> and the last no. thing I want to do is jump up butt naked, whip open my curtains, and steer that fucker down the road. So, so I got a dick. <laughs> We're bringing I mean, this hog in. Uh, <laughs> sounds like a how good many, time to me. How many people? How many people here at this table while you're sleeping naked ever hear this? <laughs> hey, you want to buy a, je- a necklace? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want company? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you want the company, you're already one step ahead of them. Yeah. If you're sleeping naked, but oh boy, uh, I don't sleep naked, but I don't. Doesn't bug me if other people I do. Swear or hey, either naked or get off boxers. my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> if it's naked or boxers, I'm fine. Anything more? I can't have a shirt on when I'm sleeping. Yeah, that's the way. Doesn't I feel do. right. Yeah. And shorts, maybe. It's too restricting for me. Yeah, I have to wear small shirts. We're constricting. Or constricting. Yeah, thank it, you. When I think about it though, so my best sleep is when I'm in a shirt. For one reason, I don't taste the crumb. I don't feel the crumbs in the bed that I from last. That's why night. you don't eat in your bed. <laughs> It is the best place to eat. No, it I don't is not. care it what is you the say. Worst place to eat. <laughs> the hardest part of coming home and sleeping. <laughs> I don't, I don't eat in my bed. bed. I don't. There's nothing in my bed in my truck. I come home, and the dogs have been in it, and there's dirt, and sand, and, and crackers, and M and M's, and anything else my wife had in there. <laughs> I. Love eating in my bed. <laughs> eating in your bed, like, I it? love it. Oh Big my no, no. god! I, I get comfy. I lay no. back. I grab a hot pocket, and I just oh. <laughs> That's different though. But like, if you're gonna eat a bag of chips and you're gonna get crumbs everywhere, good luck fucking sleeping for the next week or until you wash. Chips the shirt. are normally not my no, problem. That's when you just pull like, this move. Shrink you <laughs> as much as you until, want to. Like when you aren't used to it, you will feel the <laughs> smallest. Of oh, problems. until you See, eat in your what? bed, you do you truly realize how dirty of an eater you are? You'll have the plate, everything, all of that there. You'll be eating, like, spaghetti. You're like, this isn't going to get in the bed. I'll see it if it gets in the bed. You finish eating your spaghetti, there's nothing on the bed. I you lay down, and there's Parmesan just stuck to your side. Uh, <laughs> when, I, when I eat with a plate, I'm always sitting at a table. You wake up mm. in the morning, how this fucking meatball get here? I <laughs> <laughs> don't know how. There's a meatball in my ass. <laughs> it was right in the crack at the top. <laughs> But I, every time I go to bed now, I'll like I'll lay in bed and go, ah, ah, ah. I'll I'll lift my body up and go, just scrape the bed off. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Don't eat in your fucking bed. You don't have that issue. Yeah, no, exactly. I don't eat in the bed. It's worth it. I learned that at like the age of like eight. I'm like, fuck. There's a lot of chip crumbs in here. I gotta stop eating in my bed. And I stopped. <laughs> and there's fat. never it's anything not. wrong anymore. Nah, eating the bed is yeah. great. I don't care if like the doctors and Sanjay Gupta from. S- super school news is telling you don't eat sleep and sex that's what your bed's for that's sleep what they all sex. say <laughs> no but sleep sex and food and sad bouts of masturbation when my fiance is gone <laughs> right beat it in the bed month. when she's not around <laughs> blowing your sheets sleep in it <laughs> right in the sheets God. just roll over wow. it. Wow. Like so, that just got really just bad and you know what's <laughs> bad what's even worse is that has been in my head for years because somebody in my high school used to do that what Ugh. just blow a load in his own fucking sheets and roll over and sleep in it, in it. Nice. <laughs> I beat it in the bed once while I actually was sleeping that was great you also peed on her leg in the shower once so. <laughs> I do that all the time <laughs> That's now, fucking gross. That. No, no, no. That, now it's turning. Gross. Now it's turned into a game because I try to pee at the right <laughs> pressure to match the head unit. Stop so she on your girlfriend in the shower. So I'll back up a little bit and just start peeing. You said, said it became a game. I was picturing her trying to pee on his leg. <laughs> she just lifts it up. <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> no, those are the greatest videos on the so internet. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Try to sprinkle her in. <laughs> it, I, it's a great game now. You just <laughs> 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 the lips. <laughs> the lips. 
know, so it's, it's like putting your finger over a hose. <laughs> Having competition to see who can get it further up the wall. I think you need to take it up a level, and you need to make solid eye contact with her and just take a fat shit right in the shot. <laughs> and just All right, oh, make her watch while I walk the great. And, and, and that's, that's the thing. Not my freaking shot. <laughs> so, here's the thing you gotta do. Is you gotta make her make the decision if whether you're gonna waffle stomp it or if she's gonna pick it up and throw it in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just look at her and be like, I I'm not getting rid of that. <laughs> I, I kind of just gotta be like, you're just like sitting there like, my. Like, you, you just see it like coming out of his asshole. It's just like, let's lose. Mind, mind you, there will be no waffle stomping in my shower. I mean, the good well, news is if, Gar- if Garrett does it, it's just gonna be a spray, anyways. It's <laughs> not only that, you can't waffle stomp it. very you don't solid. have a waffle grate. Yeah. No, but if you stop hard enough, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I wonder if it's like the texture oh, of like a banana peel. If like you step on it, you're just gonna slip. Because <laughs> if you've ever stepped in dog shit in the yard, you kind of slip like you're stepping yeah. on a banana yeah. peel. So, I'd like to say this bo- this podcast is sponsored by Pornhub. Why? Because they are fucking awesome right Pornhub, now. Pornhub, you are awesome. Free premium. Now, this is all <laughs> leading somewhere. Sorry, I use sex video instead. Because... <laughs> Yeah, I do too. But free, because what what was your theory again that you talked about? How Pornhub is like on top oh, of the game. Yeah, porn Pornhub. You think about it. Pornhub just offered a free month of free subscription for a month to to their site because they know everybody's locked up, cooped well, up. Might as well beat it. Might as well be just stroking your way through this fucking. Quarantine. I saw somebody. <laughs> I saw somebody. a time, I'll beat this virus. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it boosts your immune system. Play. It does boost your immune system. But they've been offering this up for free. Now, there's two things there. First of all, Showtime and HBO, you really need to step up your game. <laughs> The reason this I mean, came from is giving it for free. Is right because now. all of these direct TV channels and movie people are offering like free weekends, and Pornhub's like, "Fuck it, here's a here's free a whole month. month. Jack whatever away. you want." <laughs> the other part of that is now I know why everybody's hoarding toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got the secret. So, Josh, what's your uh, your category of choice for this coronavirus month? Wait, are we on the? Uh, are we still March? Yeah. We are, yes. We're just, both, just barely. Let me think here. We're close. Because I, I bring this I, up because someone had to tell me what their category of choice was for this month. Oh, is yeah. this Big Black Dick or something? No, Is-Bro? it's Bushes. <laughs> he wants to see Bushes. <laughs> They're hard to find. Who? Guys. You! Uh, oh, yeah, Bush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, you mean the president? No. Oh, oh. Me? No, couldn't be. <laughs> you guys don't know what you're missing, man. What, hair in our teeth? <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. 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 I had to suffer through it. You should, too. <laughs> you're a dick. <laughs> no. How did that feel? <laughs> there's a nostalgia. No, there's a nostalgia to it for me. I That's don't want true. nostalgia when I'm touching my penis. Well, I just want to come. You but don't. I, you don't want it. But if I want a nostalgia I kinda, while I'm touching my dick, I'm gonna go watch Pinocchio. <laughs> yes, <laughs> look, look. When I normally do. When I when I think back to my youth, I don't think of a bald pussy. I think of one that's. Furry and cuddly and... Why do you want to think about yourself as a child? Why do you want to think about yourself as a child when you're jerking off? You goddamn pedophilic. My youth, youth, not my... That's not any better! (laughs) Not not, not as a child, but as my youth. In my youth, when... Like, okay. Fat Sally, 13 years old, she had a bush. Wait, her name was Fat Sally? Well, no, but I'm just... (laughs) I gotta yeah, give her a name. Right. I mean, I'm. Well, and she like Shamu. Yeah. She's, she's, she's thirteen. Shamu. It's not a good. The story doesn't feel correct when you say I lost my virginity to fat Sally. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds horrible. horrible. And that you're describing her as a thirteen year old with a bush. No, no, she, she was, was eighteen. 18. He was thirteen. He was oh, I was gonna, okay. I was gonna say. So what I'm saying is, my youth, when I was uh, <laughs> Jack and one at eighteen years old. 
It was to Harry Bush. Because that was the thing back then. Because that was the thing back then. That makes sense. Yes. I don't think this bottle is going to So lie. there's a yeah. nostalgia behind <laughs> seeing no. that kind of thing. I guess, but I will tell it's like the one the most popular thing right now and I don't know why like I watch so much of it. It's because it's like the only like newer video. So is this your topic? Yes. Stepsisters. <laughs> That's too simple. It's always the feature. Yeah. It's always you're, featured. You're just jumping on a train. <laughs> That's what it fucking is. That's boring. You know what I'm all about? The what? fake horse cream pies right now. Those are the best. <laughs> they, get got, those horse, those. <laughs> they get those. They get the horse fill. dildos the that horse. are like 14 inches, and they fill it with fake cum and just just blam themselves. Those are the ones. <laughs> I don't watch Quiet. big dick ones. It makes me feel like, inadequate. Yes. <laughs> Get over yourself. <laughs> that's it. That's why I watch. We Asian call you Josh Horsecock Johnson. Yeah. Live up to the name. <laughs> check out some. Uh, check out some transgender mom discipline videos. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Go there. Oh, some what? Can I watch strap on wow. videos or something like? I mean, no, no. Oh, I mean, good old I'm not gonna watch <laughs> good old expand, expand your mind a little bit. Stick a finger up your ass. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I know. A term no, that's I, been I'm thrown gonna, around here I'm now. Gonna actually, I'm going to actually try that tonight now. Let's stick your finger up your ass? I kind of forgot about that, yeah. When you're, like about, to, <laughs> when you're about to hit the fucking climax, just... Do it before. Just shove that shit up. <laughs> and, like, I bet it shoots like a fire hose. <laughs> <laughs> you just hit the fucking G-spot. Ugh. I worry about you gotta it. stick your finger way up your ass. <laughs> You're more ambidextrous than I am. <laughs> I guarantee. Because <laughs> you can't even reach your I, arm around. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, it's like if you're gonna touch your prostate with your you finger, gotta, you, you gotta, gotta have shit. that shit third knuckle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Garrett have talked about this before. Our favorite way of describing depth of putting something in your body is knuckles. Yeah, knuckles. Yeah, it's knuckle just deep. Such <laughs> a good description of like putting something up your ass. Like a dildo, it's like it's like at least seven knuckles up my ass. Seven <laughs> knuckles. <laughs> it's like damn dude. <laughs> he's two fingers, L-O-G. three knuckles. <laughs> and today, knuckles replaces inches as our form of US measurements. Hi. The U.S. will use anything but the fuck the, the metric system. All right. My dick's twelve knuckles long. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I don't know what I'm doing. Next time I'm having very unsatisfying sex, I'm like I'm like at least ten knuckles into you. <laughs> <laughs> bastard. This could go really well into your like favor though. You could describe it. You have bigger fingers than the woman, so she's gonna be going off. <laughs> She'll be going off of her knuckles. She'd be like, "Fuck, it's only like this big." Uh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, That's sprayed. Put it into motion. <laughs> knuckles over inches. Put it. Put it on Kickstarter. We're, we're starting a trend. Let's do this. I will start a Kickstarter for this podcast. Knuckles over inches. <laughs> no, no, a change dot org. One of those petitions. Yeah. Please, help, million. please help us change knuckles over an inch and don't make my dick seem longer. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve knuckles sounds better than six inches. Yeah, I'm thinking about six. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You start measuring like this. <laughs> you gotta get it, keep it going. Oh, oh we're talking like from tip of finger. I thought we were talking up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm gonna eight knuckles there. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Oh. Yeah, if you go this way, you can measure more knuckles. Oh. This is if you go by pink. This is the problem if we bring this up, because then it's the still like you start measuring from the balls of the pink. <laughs> <laughs> That's an issue now. What are you do you use about? do you use horizontal knuckles or vertical knuckles? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Do you push it oh, out? No, horizontal oh, knuckles are European. <laughs> They're European. <laughs> we use international. Here's the metric knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, we're fucking... Wow. wow. <laughs> Holy shit, I can't breathe. The metric knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, here comes the Rona. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> well, we're about at that time. Father, you have anything else to say before we cut out? Yeah, fuck liberals. <laughs> <laughs> you tell them. The usual. 
<laughs> Can I think about robocalls? No. <laughs> Don't start. Oh, no. 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 I think it's time we start calling them. All the band police. together and call India. <laughs> start calling them and asking yep. them about their extended warranty. <laughs> Is your Peugeot out of warranty? <laughs> <laughs> Just start yeah. randomly calling people in other countries and telling them that their social security number has been suspended for suspicious activities. That uh, they, uh, their car warranty is about to expire. <laughs> All the other things I get called on seven million times a day. You're fine. The, you're the latest oh, one is solar panels. <laughs> oh, would you no. like to purchase solar panels? Oh my god! I think no. I, I would take that in a really dark way too. I'd be like, I'd be fucking with them. I'd be like, all right, I'm gonna run a grocery store. You guys want a steak or something? Because they <laughs> can't eat. They can't yeah. eat beef. You fuckers. Be like, well, they found cows sacred. They can't eat pork. Nah, that's true. Well, wait. No. Wait, wait in, what? In India. You just said they India. find. You said they find cows sacred. They can't eat India, pork. India cows are sacred, and they can't eat. Pork. But they can't eat. Pork. Oh, okay. I, I thought you were combining it's those not two. Saying they can't I'm eat like, meat. bitch. That's do you know no, what cows are? No, I thought that's, that's how it was. It's just because they find them sacred. That's that's the holy. They just find them sacred. No, but it's the way he said. He said mm-hmm. cows are sacred. They can't eat pork. But that's different parts <laughs> of of Asia and India is. Depending on what the religions are, cows wouldn't exist if humans didn't. Because you would have buffalo and bulls and shit. There were no wild cows. What? What? Yeah. What? We can wait. Literally. This can go a little longer. <laughs> what? <clears throat> Literally. There is no such thing as cows before. Yeah. Like, Do you not know? Like, not like how we have them now. So what? We like make them in a lab or something? You know, cows are imported, right? Yeah. Cows are not North American. Yeah. Bulls no, and bison, or bison, bison, those are North American. Yeah. yeah. Cows. So what you're saying is. They're like. If yeah. it wasn't for human beings, there'd have been nobody to ship them over here, or. Sure. You said or without human beings, there wouldn't be any cows. They're, like, be any they're cows. like dogs. They're kind of like dogs. Like, there was only, like, wolves and shit before, and you domesticated And we turned a, we turned a wolf into a cow. Wait, 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 wait. No, you turn like, a bull into a cow, or. So Bitch, what? a cow is a female bull. What, what do you mean we turned a bull into a cow? We, what did we breed wolves with to make dogs? Nothing. It was just domestication. It was just domestication. Wolves that's, that's are dogs. Saying, like, really? That's how I'm trying to describe like, how cows We domesticated are. them all the way down to fucking chihuahuas. Yes. That's, <laughs> yeah. No, that's no, proof. That is proof. <laughs> wolves were wolves. The ones who were born... With different genes in, uh, I can't remember what the, the gene is. Like It's not serotonin, but it's, it's the friendlier over foe gene is what I'm calling it. Where they liked humans more. They realized you could, if you take some of their garbage, their scrap food, and protect them, you live longer and <laughs> spread out more. You know, you reproduce more. Wolves <coughs> became dogs. And through mutations, natural selection, what's up, Darwin? You became... Yeah. Trust evolution. You get it. Yeah. What are you not getting about this? Am I only making sense to me? Yeah. You're making sense to me. I got <laughs> I'm, he gets it through he, evolution. I understand that. How do you get a wolf down to a chihuahua? Mutation. In With birth. what, a rat? Have you ever seen <laughs> a Mississippi family? <laughs> 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 I have. This has got it. Yeah, you have. Oh, the the mom and dad have two arms. The son Billy That's has three. <laughs> it's the same thing. Mom, Raj. Billy Bob and Velveeta have two arms. Cletus has three. The two the two wolves all look the same. They birthed this Chihuahua because. They do. And now you have a chihuahua. Because they were brother and sister. So, I'm just waiting. I'm just, just waiting. I'll cut it off because it's chihuahuas. <laughs> this is evolution. I don't even smell What's up, right Darwin? <laughs> it's not bad. I don't smell it. I don't Wait, really but back to what we were saying. Why did you say oh, cows? You Why did you no. say cows could be here if humans were in, weren't here? Because they'd oh still be God. like wild animals. But, I mean, I'm not saying they, they wouldn't like totally be here. Then, I'm not talking like I'm talking like they wouldn't be like domesticated kind of. Like they, we wouldn't be able to like keep. I them believe me. I understand down. all the idea behind all the breeding yeah, downs yeah. and so forth. But 
like we're saying with the cows. You wouldn't put a bunch of like wild, that aggravated fucking animals, like big animals like cows and shit. You wouldn't put those all in the same place. Why not? If you put like five bulls in the same, they naturally groups. roam together in the first place. There's an alpha. They run in packs. Pack. Bulls is yeah. not the same thing. Well, bulls are male, cows are female. Yeah. Bulls, you don't. They don't run in packs. <laughs> no. Have you ever heard the saying "You can't have two bulls in a single pen"? I guess, but meaning. Two male brothers. I use that as a that metaphor that for three ways. Not be with one so. another. <laughs> they roam, they roam out free in the yeah in their range. And they just and they stay the fuck away from each other. But cows stay together. Yeah, cows stay together because they're like women, just fucking <laughs> gather together and fucking <laughs> fucking like chicken. They, they, they all use this bathroom together. <laughs> I hate all of you. They're How just, much time do we got left? None. We're, but we're, we're, you got we're, something to say? We're well, well over. I'm, I'm, we're about at the time, but okay. if you have something to it's, say, go no, ahead. No, it's just a quick question I want to ask while he's here. It's bringing up the whole cow thing. It reminded me. Now, <laughs> the other night we were talking about <laughs> cuts of steak and, you know, stuff like that. Uh-huh. Would you ever, given the chance, <clears throat> if it was provided 100% free to you, ever try Wagyu beef? The supposed best... Beef in the world. What is from, Wagyu beef again? It's it's from like Tibetan cow. No, 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 it's like a uh, Japanese, Japanese, yeah. Chinese. It's an Asian. Right now, I don't want anything from China. Yeah. No, 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 but it's I like the Chinese. It's, it's their government. It, it's supposed to be <laughs> about stomach and spirit. The, definitely the government. The best steak you could ever eat in your life. Most of the times, their cuts are usually priced at about a hundred to two hundred bucks a cut. Dude, fuck people who because, rate that shit. Well, that way. the reason why is because of how right. they are brought up. They're supposedly would I eat, these, would I eat that? Is what they, you're asking me? Yeah, like if well, of course they offered you, it. you, it, you know, well, if it wasn't people, paying for it or anything. I mean. Yeah, I, I guess. Uh, I don't know, actually. You know, that actually is a good question because if it was that good, it would ruin steak for you. Well, no, you know, I don't think it would. Yeah, I'm but sorry. That's like filet mignon. The discrepancies between steak. I've never had filet mignon. Yes, you have. I, I have not. I have not. I'm not a big Zero filet mignon. I brought it here fan. and made one for you. I never ate it, though. I'd rather have a, a really I, I may have good had a bite. juicy ribeye. I couldn't remember just it, about yeah, everything. But, well, no, but, but here's the question. <laughs> There is no steak on this fucking planet between, say, like a a ribeye, which is like seventeen bucks a pound, sixteen bucks a pound. It's expensive. It it it's a dollar an ounce, and a wagyu, which is two hundred dollars, which is pretty much fucking ten dollars an ounce. Fuck that, compared to a dollar. There will not be that big of a difference between the two to merit that price. Well, and the reason why and that there's no way it's gonna taste. Theoretically, ten times yeah. better than ribeye. Did like the like, the fat and everything is spread out in just the right way, where about every bite you take is supposed to be the most tenderest, most flavorful. Well, part of that is the uh, making a cow stand in one spot yeah. and force feeding it. Yeah, it grows <clears throat> no muscle and grows. Plenty of fat. Oh, plenty of so fat. So the marbling on it is the just gorgeous. The marbling is unbelievable. And, of course, the marbling is where the flavor comes and from. The fat if I'm is where correct, the flavor comes from. They're, and the tenderness uh, is from the lack of tendon and no. muscle. Yeah. If I'm correct, they're rice and sake fed so yeah. that it has an enhanced flavor. And supposedly, they're massaged. I would try it to answer the question. I would definitely try it if the opportunity. Right. But I don't see a reason for any food... Anywhere of any kind to be that expensive. Oh yeah. Because what that is is elitist food. Yeah. It's it's priced there because they've got a gimmick to it to make it sound the, so know, fantastic for the and, elite. Yeah. Which means that only the the only people that get to enjoy mm-hmm. that in life are the super rich. Yeah. And fuck that. Exactly. So coming from meat cutters and steak eaters like me and Jordan are. Don't eat that. Yeah, Say it right. Fuck, fuck them. What? I would definitely eat, eat that. No, I mean like, <coughs> don't 
Don't go out. <laughs> don't go what? out of your way to buy. I would it. definitely eat that. Yeah. But no, that's what I'm leaning towards. Because you were saying about like the. No, uh, I would never pay that price. Yeah. Fuck that. No, no, no. Well, that's it. Everything I've seen is. Yeah. And that is a huge problem. I yeah. remember when working at Hy-Vee in the meat department is those fucking people who think I'm gonna order a ribeye. Can you please cut the fat off? I don't want that on. Are you fucking <laughs> psycho? Psycho. I hear yeah. that every fucking shift I work. Still to this day. Do you know where the find flavor me, comes from? Find me a lean like, ribeye. I hate. Yeah. yeah. They're like, there ain't no such they're thing. They're like, I want a lean ribeye. Have you seen a ribeye? All those veins coming through it, all the white fat like that's built through a ribeye. If you, if you want a that's lean what makes steak, it so fucking yeah. good. So you're saying you want something so different. Makes it, <laughs> if you it want a lean from steak. A fatty portion of the body which makes it real tender and makes it real, real flavorful. flavorful. Yeah. Yeah. If you want a lean steak, you get high around. Uh, yeah. Either high around or dare I say New York. But in New York. It's, the only reason I, I say New York. But a lot of the New Yorks no, have a lot of. Even though New York is. You want. You want. That no. London broil. Yeah. You don't yeah. fatten it at all. Ground beef. <laughs> no. Depends where you get those from, though. A lot uh, of places don't use real steak for those. Yeah. The reason I say New York, that rim of fat that that hugs a New York is not like fat on the rest of the cow. It's no. just different. Yeah. It's it's more tough. Well, it's because that meat, that stretch of meat in the first place is tough. Yeah. And when you mix it with fat, it's not going to just suddenly make it tender. No. I mean, it's no. still it's still shit. Yeah. I have heard a lot of people talk about a secret to New York's, which is there's a little tendon on the bottom side that if you cut off, it like suddenly makes it taste better. I don't get it, but well, it, it's near the it, bottom of it. It relaxes the meat. <clears throat> yeah, the you tendon, cut that tendon off the and tendon suddenly runs it's like the, I can see the, the length of the steak and it basically yeah. pulls it like, together. Okay. I really have to pee. <laughs> Um, Thanks Father, sure. it's been fantastic having you on. Thank of course. you for having me um, this time. Hey, we got Josh back this week. We've, right. we've got the crew back. Yeah. Thank God. We're all here. Um, <laughs> expect, hopefully, this crew for, a, well, besides my father. Um, well, I'll be that? back in like four weeks. We Maybe we can have you on there. Um, I don't know if he brought it up. I think we have. Around the July 4th time, that's a big time for us as a, a, as a family and as yeah. a group. We might have a... The only real holiday. Exactly. We might have an extra large podcast. I would love to get uh, Uncle JD, maybe Uncle Steve, see yeah. if maybe one of them if, wants to jump if, on. If they make it. Yeah. yeah. And if they do, see if they want to jump on the podcast. We'll have a six man at the largest. I mean, five is already pushing it, but who gives a fat shit? You figure something out. Um, as always, though, I'm Garrett. I'm Josh. I'm Ken. Girl. I'm Jordan. Did you forget your name? <laughs> <laughs> Tell him. Thanks for joining in.